I just wanted to make a few comments on my uh, steering wheel strap. I was playing around with an idea I had a while back to make a strap on my steering wheel because I was having um, just some minor issues with uh, arm fatigue and, and holding on to the steering wheel in a fixed position. I, have, I don't have the longest arms in the world so I have to extend them all the way, especially when I want to hold on to it on the top. I, I, I like to lean back, but I can't seem to reach the top of the steering wheel. I can kind of on the bottom portion, but it's, it's a little uncomfortable. Um, so I made these straps. It's, it's all homemade. Sewed them on so they're kind of permanent. If you can see that. It's very flexible. I can make a lot. I can make a lot of turns. 90 degrees uh, it becomes a little more of a challenge, and I want to use more of the steering wheel. But uh, the whole trip I made from Rates Lake, Wisconsin, from Wisconsin to Washington, I I didn't have my hands on the steering wheel most of the time. My hands were on this strap, so. It's it's really easy to grab. It's really convenient. It's somewhat flexible, but not too too flexible. I prefer it just um, for the comfort comfortability. It only gives me like a couple inches back where I don't have to extend my arm constantly. I think it reduced the arm fatigue. I could use it for both hands, of course. But when I get to a hairy situation where I have to really pay close attention like if I was dry while well, I was driving on the ice uh, for a good hour or so in Montana I didn't really use this strap a, a whole lot maybe I would hold on to the strap with one hand and then the steering wheel with the other or something but yeah most of the time I had one hand on the strap and that's it I don't know if it's legal or not it's really not that visible because it kind of folds onto the, the steering wheel and looks like it's a part of it anyway. It hasn't gotten in the way. I have to, if you see the blue portion, I have to sew it on to the, the uh, edge, the connector towards the center. You can't just throw the strap on willy-nilly. There's, there's definitely a um, particular de design that you need to, to fashion. Uh, and it depends on the type of steering wheel you have. This steering wheel, I'm able to to put it in this way. The next steering wheel, who knows? But they all all steering wheels have to connect at the center in some way, so you can you can adjust your design accordingly. Um, I was thinking a little bit about the history of the strap. It, fe it feels like um, riding on a horse in a way. You just have that uh, that. Um, that looseness, that slight looseness about it, uh, like like you're going, yeah, yeah. It's it's really a, a neat effect that it gives a, a different aspect to to um, driving. Um, if your star steer, power steering went out, or even before, say power steering, um, this just wouldn't work. I don't. You'd need a lot of you really need to force the the turn. This is light duty turning, um, and for for long distances or something. Yeah, they probably wouldn't allow this in truck uh, semi truck dri uh, driving. Uh, they probably want your hands directly on the steering wheel. But yeah, I'm I'm just a recreational driver, and I prefer a little flexibility in the strap. So that's that's uh, most of it. I've had it on for over a year, um, playing with it off and on, and I haven't taken it off. I made a couple of designs that were not very nice, uh, like separating. You see, these are these used to be separate, but I had it's like two pieces on each side. Uh, they, they're just. It all needs to be attached as one loop. Uh, you don't want any separate pieces. Um, but yeah, you can play around with it if you want, see what you can come up with.